Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth is connected. You know, I've been thinking about doing one of these updates on, you know, the five things that I hate about my MR2. So, instead of doing something long and drawn out and orchestrated, um, I can probably run down that list really quickly, okay? So, let's start number one. Number one thing that I hate about my MR2, and uh, I wouldn't necessarily say this is a top five list, this is just five things that I don't like about my MR2. And this is specifically my MR2, not everybody's MR2, just mine. Um, one of the things specifically that I don't like about my MR2 is um, all the rattles that I have. Now, it's pretty hard to hunt down all the rattles one at a time. It's one of those things I'm, I'm kind of dedicating the time to doing, but it's just taking a lot of time. You know, you'll be driving the car one day and, and you'll get like a little suspension creak noise or you'll get like a little loose, uh, sounds like a loose rivet in the, in the uh, door card that kind of rattles around, just annoys you. That's like one of those things that really annoys me. So the first thing is just little squeaks and rattles that you get in the car. Now, as you can see, I'm currently at 101,992 original OG miles on the original block. Um, original full motor that's running mega squirt and a big turbo. Um, let me think. A second thing that I don't like about my car is probably my carbon fiber hood. Um, I currently have a border carbon fiber hood and I bought this for really cheap, which I mean, these are really nits. I have to really dig deep to find things that I don't like about the car. Truth be told, I love this car, but the hood has a little divot in it. Um, I bought this hood used on Craigslist. Guy was nice and brought it over for about 150 bucks, um, delivered it right to my front door, threw it on the car that day. But he had told me uh, previously that the hood had flown up and destroyed his windshield. And so because of that, there's a little divot in the hood in the carbon fiber. Um, it's funny because I got the hood long, long before I, I thought I was going to be running a border style front. So I guess inevitably I'm going to end up with the whole border kit, but it's just by being at the right place at the right time, I guess. Okay. Uh, next thing that I dislike about the car is I have a trunk leak. Uh, the trunk leak is very, very annoying. Um, water has a tendency, you know, this is California, so we don't, we don't have tons and tons and tons of storms, but when we do have some storms, uh, you can get a lot of water very quickly. And when that happens, I'll get water or like mildew in the trunk. So I have to air it out. It gets kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, that's one of those things I have to deal with. You know, really I should just chalk this up to leaks in general. Like for instance, the T-tops leak right here, which I need to put new seals here. I just haven't got around to doing it. Um, it's a little bit of money and it's not really money being the issue. It's just really time and and just getting it taken care of and so uh if you are driving the car in the rain which a lot of people don't do but california you know we don't get snow in sacramento and that's where i live and so because of that um you just get a little bit of rain as you're driving down the road uh, <laughs> so you put your raincoat on when you're driving and you just absorb the water you deal with it the seats can get a little bit wet but I generally speaking, I take care of it. I make sure I don't get mildew in the car, things like that. Uh, I believe I'm on number four. The number four thing that I don't like about the car, and again, this is really just nits, is that uh, normally this window is very foggy. It's very foggy because my air conditioner doesn't work. I have a leak in my air conditioner. It's not deleted, it just has a leak, it needs to be refilled. And I just have not got around to doing it. I've had this car for about six years. And Sacramento is absolutely brutal in the summertime. Uh, got seven consecutive days, I think, this year, where it's 110 degrees and no AC. So this is my daily driver, folks. Um, so I'm in this car no matter what. All I can do is basically put a hat on 
and uh, put the windows down and try to make the best of it. But, you know, I burn. I burn real bad. And But you know what? Because race car, you know, that's just what it is. Have not got it taken care of yet. So it is what it is. Um, let's see. That brings me to number five. What's the fifth thing that I dislike about my MR2 specifically? Um, it has to be my cracked wheel. See right here, I hit a big pothole. I put a divot right here on my rim. It's still holding air. No problem with that. Um, but actually, I don't know if it'll be picked up, but there's actually a crack here, right here. So I really should take the, take the rim to a shop, um, have them bang this straight and weld it and get it taken care of. But it just really makes the car look ugly right now. I'm running these FNOR. Uh, FNO1 RCs, 5 Zegans. Uh, they are not reps. And you know what? I'm not really a fan of these rims in general. But whatever, it is what it is. All in all, I really do love this car. But, you know, there's little issues here and there. And those are the issues that I dislike. And fortunately, I believe all the issues that I listed, I can fix. I can all take care of. You know, I've watched some other videos where people talked about snap oversteer. And <laughs> I actually have no problem with that. I don't have a problem with snap oversteer. Um, basically, people just drive within your limits. <laughs> don't push the car beyond what you can handle. Maybe it's because I'm a little bit older. I'm 37. If I owned this car when I was 18, I'd probably be dead. But not really worried about that now because I just, you know, I try to drive the car within my means and not push the car beyond what I'm able to do or what I feel comfortable doing. And I have a lot of seat hours in this car. Um, so yeah, that's about it for now. So thanks for watching this video. It's been a little bit long, but yeah, those are the five things that I dislike about my car. I'm hoping to address each and every one of those because this car is not going anywhere. And I love this car. So this is Justin over at GPE. And this has been the five things that I dislike about my car. And this is my 1993 Toyota MR2 that's running a T3, T4 turbo, mega squirt, meth injection, and E85. And it's a Gen 2, unopened. All right, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.